welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm going to show you how to make an 80s or 90s party centerpiece and setup here we go going to be a boom box. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never tried this before, but I was sitting there and I was just like, you know what? Maybe I can make a boom box out of picture frame. So if it turns out, you are definitely going to see this. If not, next. <laughs> um, I love the 90s. I was a teen in the 90s and I had the best time and I hope it translate in this whole setup. All right, guys, let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is paint my 11 by 14 in tall multi-photo frame with a fluorescent pink spray paint. So, <laughs> I have never ever worked with fluorescent spray paint before and it has been a challenge guys, it has been a challenge. It works nothing like the other paints that I work with, the other spray paints, which are, you know, the typical spray paint. It doesn't work anything like it at all. It is very thin and um, you kind of, if you're going to spray paint over the black or wood, any color, you have to spray paint it with white so it can come out. Uh, so you can, so you're able to see the color. Other than that, you're not going to be able to see it. On the glass, uh, I had to spray it over and over and over, and then you have to do it evenly and you know at a distance because if you do it too close, you get spots everywhere. So yeah, trial and error. But this looks very nice. So make sure that if you are going to use the fluorescent spray paint, you are going to use white underneath on your uh, frames, especially if they're not white. So make sure to do that. No need to do it with the glass. If you want to, you can. You probably will waste less uh, paint doing it that way. But I decided not to because then you'll see the white on the other side. Because I'm going to use the uh, glass uh, on painted side for the outside of the boom box. So yeah, so it was a challenge. And, and it leaves a powdery residue that is all over the place. So I have a lot of cleanup to do. So be aware of that. So make sure that you have like lots of papers and lots of a sheet or something because it's all over the place. <laughs> all right guys, so let's move on to the next step. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Also, be aware of this. Um, I use gloss white on this frame and I ran out. So I the next, you know, the next white I had was a matte white. So the pinks look different, totally different. I mean, it will still work. It's still gonna look pretty. I actually like it that they didn't turn out uh, the exact color, but totally different if you are going to use two different types of uh, uh, texture. So if you're gonna stick to gloss, stick to gloss. If you're gonna stick to matte, stick to matte because then the colors are not going to match. Although, it's not that bad. Um, and yeah, and even the uh, smaller frames here, totally different colors. So I have three different types of pink. But I'm gonna make it work. You know I'm not into perfect, so <laughs> let's do this. All right. So you're gonna turn your frames over and you are going to remove all the tabs from the frame. So you're gonna bend them back into place and then you are going to um, pull them out carefully. And you are going to leave the unpainted glass 
to the outside okay so this will be nice and smooth in the outside and the painted side will be in the inside well first you gotta add your permanent glue and I'm loving this go-to glue that I found at Home Depot because it bonds in half an hour you can also use um, E6000 but I'm loving these hot glue to the corners I left some room uh, in the corners so I can add the hot glue so the hot glue can keep the pictures together or not the pictures the glass together while um, the go-to glue dry now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to all the other frames before I put the box together, I'm going to make the face of the boom box and I'm going to start with the speakers. I found this um, clipboard from Dollar Tree. It's a plastic clipboard and I'm going to make speakers out of these because of the pattern. Isn't it cool? Um, and I'm going to use this coaster to um, cut two circles. Now I'm going to make two smaller circles with this holographic sheet. Um, I'm just going to turn it over. And I'm using whatever I have laying around the house. So you can just use anything you have. And it's going to look something like this. And these are going to serve as, you know, the middle part of the speaker. And I'm also going to add some um, tool over it so this won't be so bare okay so i'm going to place the speakers right here glue them with hot glue Now I'm going to use this black glitter foam, which is self-adhesive, to make the back of the cassette dispenser. I don't know what will you call that. Um, or where the cassette goes. <laughs> How about that? So something right about here. Just a quarter of an inch. Just to give it a little highlight or a little background. And then I'm going to place it right on here so you're just gonna pull the back off I'm gonna try to pull off these two clear things that hold the cassette inside uh, so I can place it right here and um, I'm gonna use some pliers and try to be as careful as possible because I can break it okay so they barely made it I kind of had to hot glue a little piece right here uh, together there's um, two cassettes in a uh, pack I got it from Walmart so <laughs> I kind of uh, went through both of them and this is what I got so I'm gonna have to use it just the way it is and now I'm going to place the little plastic things I'm gonna put them inside of there so it can look like it's inside of a cassette player. I'm gonna add a little glue. And it looks something like this so far. Pretty neat. Now I'm going to pull apart the cassette case and I'm going to use this part and then I'm going to place it right on here. There you go. Next, I'm going to use a couple of strips of glitter foam to add around the borders of the cassette. I cut an inch and a quarter of this whole side of the foam, and then I'm going to just measure and cut what I need on each side and place accordingly. Now I'm 
going to add thinner strips to the top of the cassette so it can look like it's inside the dispenser. And there it is. Or you can just wrap the box that it came with with the glitter foam. That would have been so much easier. But yeah, you live and you learn. For my play, stop, fast forward, and rewind buttons, I'm going to use this mounting pads and I'm going to be um, using my Sharpie to color the borders of it in black. And then I'm going to use my holographic paper to make squares to place right on top of it so it won't look so blah. I'm going to use one of the extra pads to um, make a, four squares. Now, I'm going to place the pads right at the bottom under the tape. And they're self-adhesive, so just go ahead and place them at the bottom of it. Then you're going to take the paper off from the top. And then you are going to add the holographic paper right on top of it. going to move on to the top of my boom box and I'm going to be making the station dial here and I'm going to use a clear ruler from Dollar Tree but before I place the ruler on here I'm going to use a glitter foam as background for this and it's going to look something like that. So I had to cut two strips, the main one right here. Uh, this is as long as the glitter paper is and then I had to add a little extension here this little piece to make it a little longer. And you want it to be about a quarter of an inch uh, wider on all the sides. I'm going to use this red paint marker to make a line on top of the ruler, which will be as if it was the uh, red dial for the station. All right, so I had to draw the line off camera because I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. It's not straight and um, definitely not straight because the ruler is not flat. So I kind of, let me see, here's a close up. So that's what it looks like and that's as good as it's going to get. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the frames together, the whole boom box together. I kind of feel like I need something right here in the middle, but I will figure that out later. Here I have my tall multi-photo frame and I'm going to turn this one over and I'm going to add go-to glue to most of the frame here in the middle and then I'm going to add hot glue to the corners. the same process for the top of the boom box but I'm going to be placing it in between these two frames so you're gonna to have to hold it for a bit until the hot glue dries to keep it up there and probably place something here in the middle to hold it up until the glue dries for about an hour and here's what we have so far and I do have to tell you about a change I made this little piece right here I made it one piece instead of having four little pieces together I didn't like the way that it looked and um, it was bothering me so I ended up just you know cutting out the shape of the cassette on the foam and then I cut out the middle part and then I just place it right on top of there and now it looks much neater and it looks polished I decided to cut out a little piece of holographic sheet to add to the middle of the boom box right here, this little spot that was bothering me. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it with some go-to glue. So now I'm going to work on this side of the boom box. And what I'm going to do here is repurpose the curtain that came with the picture frame. And I'm going to cut out the shape here. And then I'm going to cover that up with holographic sheets. And I'm just going to measure the inside of here and it might be different for you know for you, but right now, oh my God, I can keep anything straight. Uh, right now it looks like um, seven and three quarters. 
here is a little before 11 inches so yeah i'm going to make those measurements on top of the cardboard and that's perfect now i'm going to measure and cut the holographic paper on it and that's going to be it as of right now, I'm just going to be placing the cardboard on here. I'm not going to glue it down because I'm thinking that it will be so neat to place some type of lighting in here. I just don't know if I have anything that's going to be bright enough to make some type of effect, but I will try. Uh, but yeah, so just leaving it right on there is snug enough to stand by itself. And yeah, I think that's perfect. You don't need to glue it down and you can always place whatever you would like in here to make some nice, nice, nice lighting effect for your centerpiece. To make the boombox handle, I'm going to use a five by seven picture frame. I'm going to um, take this part off and I'm going to cut off a little bit of the side frames and then I'm going to glue it right on top of here. And now I'm going to take off or saw off with my saw <laughs> here. I'm going to um, take about, um, let's see. I'm going to make it four inches long right here on the side. So I'm going to be taking about three inches off on both sides. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of the um, go-to glue and some hot glue as well. I'm going to use this 3 8 inch dowel to make an old school antenna. The antennas usually come with this thingy right on top, I don't know how you call it, but it usually has this round thing at the end of the antenna. And I'm going to make that with my hot glue gun. Uh, with hot glue I should say. So I'm just going to apply hot glue to the tip of my dowel and then I'm just going to keep turning it um, until I get the shape that I want and I'm going to apply a little more to make it a little bigger just a tiny bit more and there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint it silver. Here's the antenna, and um, I'm not sure if I want to put it on. So what do you guys think? Antenna, no antenna. Antenna, no, I actually like it. Yeah, I'm gonna place it right here. All right, guys, this is it. This is my 80s or 90s party centerpiece boom box, and I think it's absolutely awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love it now because if I'm going to be honest here, at one point I didn't think that it was going to work out and I was so like, ugh, and my husband had to talk me uh, back into finishing it and I'm glad I did. And as you can see, I placed lighting inside the centerpiece. I placed two push lights inside the boom box and oh my God, did that make it go to another level. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do it right now you don't want to miss the next project also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and let me know what you were up to in the 80s and 90s give me all the juicy details I want to know <laughs> all right guys until next time bye